everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be making another family favorite recipe. This is chocolate cookies with Rolo's uh, candy inside. We call them chocolate Rolo filled cookies. Um, you bake a Rolo on the middle, you make a nice chocolate dough, and then you put a white chocolate drizzle on the top. So come with me and we'll go ahead and get cooking. For this recipe, you're gonna need about 18 ounces of Rolo candies a cup and a half of unsweetened cocoa powder. I like to use Hershey's. For vanilla, you're gonna need four teaspoons of vanilla, two cups of unsalted butter, four and a half cups of flour, sifted, brown sugar, you need about two cups, firmly packed. And you're going to need two cups of either chopped pecans or chopped walnuts, whichever you like. Two cups of sugar. Four room temperature eggs. Two teaspoons of baking soda. And eight ounces of white chocolate chips. Let's begin. I always use sifted flour for my baking recipe, so I'm using four and a half cups here. and I need one and a half cups of Hershey cocoa powder and two teaspoons of baking soda. Now I take a large bowl and I put it in my regular white sugar, my brown sugar, my two cups of butter, and I blend it well with my hand mixer, scraping down the sides as needed. Time to put in my vanilla extract my four room temperature eggs and hand mix it. Then I use my electric mixer. Now I'm slowly incorporating the flour mixture into my butter sugar mixture using my hand mixer. Slowly incorporating it till it's very well blended. Once it's well blended, I'm gonna add in my chopped nuts, but I'm reserving a half a cup of the nuts to roll my chocolate balls in before baking. Now I'm setting my oven to 375, and while it's preheating, I'm gonna start making my cookies. Of course, I start with clean hands, and then I flour them gently, put a teaspoon of dough in them, wrap the Rolo cookie around them, and dip them in the nuts. And just repeat this about 100 times, because I think I made close to 100 cookies that day. One thing I wanted to mention is when you make these cookies, you only want to put enough chocolate uh, cookie dough around the candy just to cover it so it's sealed in the middle. You don't want to have too much extra cookie dough on them so they're not too large. Also, you can easily cut this batch um, in half if this is too many cookies for you. You bake these cookies for about 7 to 10 minutes until they set and slightly crack at the top. Then you cool them two minutes remove them from the cookie sheets and put them on racks as I'm showing you here. The cookies have completely cooled. It's time to decorate them. And I'm using these white chocolate chips by Nestle. And I go ahead and open the bag and pour it into my Ziploc freezer bag. I'm going to use this bag to microwave and melt them so I can make it into a glaze or frosting. One thing I will recommend if your white chocolate chips tend not to melt very good, you can always put a tiny splash of milk in before you put them in the microwave. Once your white chocolate chips have melted in the oven, take them out carefully and make sure you don't burn yourself. And take scissors and snip a little corner to use to decorate the cookies with. As you can see here, I think I made too big of a snip. I like my frosting a little more thinner but it was very hot, so I had to wrap my hand in a towel to decorate these cookies. So there you have it, Rolo filled chocolate cookies. They're perfect and chewy and gooey in the middle. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give my video a thumbs up and comment down below. If you would like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to be informed when my next video is available. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.